Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today we're going to be discussing some LEGO Ninjago images from the official website. These have been out for a while since the website got revamped, but I've waited to talk about them because I kind of wanted to try to tie in a topic that I wanted to discuss kind of corresponding to these images, and that topic is kind of the legacy that the ninjas should leave behind at the end of the series. Of course, I'm not talking about any time soon, the series concluding, but just when we do eventually reach that end point, what sort of legacy should the ninja leap behind? And that ties in to these images here, which we'll get started here with the first one. We have seven that we're going to go through, one for each of the ninja and then one for Wu as well. And the first one here is of Kai and he definitely looks super cool here. And it kind of made me think about this topic because we get to see him in, of course, a statue form right here on the image. And I think he looks really amazing. And of course, for examples, like at the end of season three, we got to see Zane get his titanium ninja statue of course because they thought that he was gone or dead basically and then of course at the end of seabound we saw them hold a funeral for nia as well even though of course she's not fully gone but she's kind of left the team of course for the moment at least i've made several videos talking about how she could make her return to the series but i definitely kind of wanted to face this topic because i know it's something that a lot of fans don't want to think about of course for one reason the series ending but also the series ending on a bit of a bleak note like this which i'm absolutely not saying that i think this is what is going to happen or that I want this to happen. Of course, I would love for the ninja to get a very happy ending at the conclusion of the series, but facing facts, there could be some like more bleak endings for some of the ninjas specifically. So I wanted to kind of tie that in here, but Kai statue looks fantastic. I love how they feature the elements on the actual statues for each of the ninja, but primarily on Kai here, I think it looks really great to start off. Then we move over here to Cole, which I think this one looks so great as well i love how he's on top of just the pile of rocks right there all of the rubble looks really great he's made it to the top there and i really love kind of the expressions as well on each of the ninja there i love how cole just has a big grin on him because of course he's always so cheery within the series so that's really cool to see as well then we move into jay right here which i think his looks really great as well now honestly when i first looked at this one i know that like obviously i wasn't fully confused but it looks like he's almost like the master of wind or something because he's kind of making a tornado around himself but of course it's kind of just a way of showing his electrical abilities of course but I think this one definitely still looks really cool so I do like the design of that then we have Zane as well who looks fantastic I love how he's above all of the ice there it's kind of forming around him almost and then we move forward here to Lloyd which honestly Lloyd's is one of the more disappointing ones when I first saw him I kind of thought that maybe it could have potentially been Cole because it kind of looks like almost earth is kind of forming around him like rubble but it is Lloyd here of course from the color you can tell pretty obviously because it's like a sand green but still I thought that it didn't look exactly like him so that was a bit more disappointing but still I think it looks all right and then we have Nia of course this one holds a lot of uh, meaning at this point in the series of course at the end of Seabound and I think it's really cool to kind of see her right here in this statue I think she looks really great there for sure and I love that kind of how she has like like the blue on her arms and then of course on the water kind of going around her and then how her kind of primary color is almost like a sort of like copper burgundy sort of color I think that that's really cool so they kind of contrast with each other in a really cool way so I like that that we get to see kind of two colors there and it almost could be seen as kind of representing her as the master of water and also as samurai x as well so I think that's kind of cool maybe maybe diving a little bit too deep into that but I think it's still kind of cool there and then the final one that we have is Wu right here who of course just looks phenomenal I think they nailed it with his design and another point I wanted to bring up too that kind of made me think about this was also in the reimagined short of course one of the or the first one that premiered the golden legend of course where we got to see the ninja frozen in gold and it just kind of makes me think about the end of the series like the conclusion I'm not going to try to pitch to you what I think the conclusion is going to be maybe I'll tackle that in a future video but it's definitely something Something that I see is pretty far off in the series at this point so I don't think it's really worth pitching too much at this point of course you can have your theories and I might make videos on them eventually but I kind of want to stick to the present now but it just kind of is an interesting topic what kind of legacy will
will they leave behind? I think it's kind of a very relatable thing because I think just for us, this is getting kind of philosophical here, but kind of throughout your life, that's kind of what you're building to everything you do in life is kind of something that's going to be left behind and kind of represent you. So it's kind of interesting to think about that with the ninja i know it's like more of like a children's show i suppose but still ninjago deals with those more adult topics i would say and it tackles them very well and in a really mature way so i'm just really curious how they're going to handle that in the series when we do eventually reach that point but i think that's about everything i kind of have to talk about here it's more of a video where i want to kind of spark this discussion here and in the comments feel free to talk with everyone else down there and kind of discuss what are your thoughts kind of on the end of the Ninjago series. Like when, how far off do you think that's going to be? What sort of legacy do you think the Ninja and Wu, of course, any of the characters really are going to leave behind? Just kind of let me know your theories and thoughts on that down below because I find it to be a really interesting topic. But thanks so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Also subscribe as well if you would like to check out some of my other content that would be highly appreciated so thank you so much i'll see you all next time and always remember keep on collecting